Well, hello and welcome to the yeah, Another Freaking Impression Beyond Our New Cartoon. Didn't think it be happening pretty quickly over the course of a month. We had Elena, then Feature Worm, and now this. But we did Disney twice I the Pokemon Cartoon Network turn. So, uh, let me know if I keep winning because we're back and back and come time and end up being a short war a few days before claim pretty cool, whatever. May have to, that's going to be out tomorrow. I'll probably put it short. But then, in any way, um, this is pretty late. It's 11.30 coming. I'm sorry, I can't have work to do <laughs> to watching it till now. Um, but I was thinking, yes, for my cousin, by watching the same Gumball episode, and, uh, we fuck. If I'll be doing this, I'll be doing Rainbow Vlog on that. We crash. But, first, new show, Mighty Magic Horn, Cartoon Network. Well, okay, go. <gasps> Swing of History. It was created by Kyle something. I don't know the name. Kyle A. something. He created a show for Nickelodeon Random Cartoon entitled Movie of the Pirate. And that show for him, he did not get put up in Nickelodeon. So he packed up and went to Cartoon Network and created a different show, which they were decided to make the full community. Yeah, Gone One made Cartoon Random Cartoon and eventually Cartoon Network picked them up instead. Gee, that's never happened before. I love that it happened twice now. Which they're about the same show, they're done a different show from a random cartoon. I'm kind of, my cartoon the only one to get a full one. Well, the other one was a show you might know called Fanboy and John John. Yay. <laughs> but I could probably pull better from the short shorts. Um, all of it. Um, but yeah, the show I knew of because they made it in short form on, um, kind of similar to come what they might do to like that. Um, they did, or what you can call them, more likely, um, uh, short on the kind of thing, which compared to watch, I didn't eat any of, I didn't feel like watching it, because I don't count, not only short two of I don't, whatever. But then I heard they were going to take it to a full community, which I found to be pretty interesting, because I think it's short, because I feel like you'll probably understand a lot more if you've seen them, or, but, um, either way, while I watched the very first episode, which only them up, because we're not a lot to gain. Um, and the F limit up could be entitled, um, I already forgot. Uh, at the moment, I can't look at it, I can't look at it, still kick me anyone to watch it. Um, actually, I have the uh, Wikipedia, because I need to do a little research to kick out my factory. Uh, Bushroom Menic, okay, that's the type of code. Um, one interesting thing is that the story editor for the show is apparently Mr. Lawrence, aka Plankton, Punch Art Writer. And cartoon writer generally We've been in cartoon app before, you on Camp Lago as Edward Plata book. Don't go with Godfrey, now Plankton. Why if weird people keep fucking Plata Pie, Plata Pie, Plata Pie, Plata People? Anyway, so with this show, from my understanding, about we got B Kibbling, we got one with the creator, one by one from the great lion, one great question now, I could well, I need to. Um, um, you know, um, and they basically enter the fan world where they roam, or are looking for magic horde, or a magic horde, which had come in, you know, very tight, and they go on crazy adventures. That basically just the premise. I think Capone, because from the very first episode, I think it was only show that dropped here and it played nothing. They did not ever write for a step of code, because we're hacked. But it's not a show you need to have a pilot for. And with the show, I get most of it, but I don't play what the hell a magic for it. Go on, or go, and they go to, it took you, it began with an era of just knocking where they are and walking along, like, I guess you both know who the characters are and what a magic for it is. And the plot, who right, because it had them find, using a magic for which is a lot, I suppose, out of the way, for the character, aka, basically, the actual plot of the episode. Well, at the beginning of the episode, they apparently have a pumpkin magic horn, but dick around for five minutes, and eventually they about to fight the giant mushroom monster thing, but the pumpkin horn thing, well, they're pro don't, they're pro for that attack, they protect the cone How I get that. Um, Gawker was a little, I like Perkin. I Perkin. I got figured. Uh, I knew actually, I didn't know who was winking, but I knew who was actually fucking like that great little half, though. There you go. I thought of a main guy here for me, but he's just the creator. So why would he movie or anything else he might work on? Go. Don't worry about that. Um. No, I didn't know. I even familiar about. 
Anyway, um, man, basically the punk can afford to get afraid, and they have to make it unafraid so he can fight the martial monster thing. Um, and that is a plot that could lead to issues with magic order again. It's a nice plot for being into there. From the, I kind of get a grasp on what it's like. You know, you have the magic order. You know what it is. Magic order actually got magic order, but I can't talk. And what I got in the world, and the character, we know him, but what for deal? What is going on, you know? Come show, the show has the certain dots that I feel like I need to know a little bit. Because even a show about a primary, you can have like, I would go back, it should be to a concept in a certain way, even without there could be a pilot in a certain show again, you know? Um, you yeah, um, but the comes just definitely. I get a grapple with the character, like we got boy and girl and cover girl like the more like kind of more like one the boy kind of a great girl for one and you know um you know and the thing about the show so far from that could have all the ingredients you need for the cartoon but I don't know it half good I think uh, I like the animation it made something play but I like the character design and the style it looked a bit too much like the other show dark, I feel like but better than like um I go, I could probably work on a freaking team, which is not terrible. Um, you know, but uh, back in time, they look nice. I like the monsters, they're nice, they're cool. Uh, the characters came okay, I think. They got, they got some nice banter, and I believe they have room to get development that they come fully like cool. And for, for that, because they want to add a puppet for guy, he, he can go right. Um, I like that with his person. Um, yeah, the characters came fine. Potential to be interesting. Um, but Kong gets kind of entertaining, going across the world, because it was magical more. And if you turn out to be personality, you know, but then I think that could be for a lot of, you know, really a lot of adventure, a lot of stuff, and, you know, and you're like, actually not too bad. I laughed at keeping them out, I think. There's a lot of good quip between the characters, like, and a narrator who gets good jokes. There's a lot of jokes being fun at you, and it, most of them kind of hit in some way. So it's mostly entertaining, because of the humor. And, um, yeah, you know, and voice acting, of course, if you have a good love, you're gonna get some good voice acting. And like, she has a more of a posh for a week, which I think works for the character. And the way I would definitely give it for all. The main problem here, well, one problem with kind of dropping in is definitely the painting. Painting is really, like, fat, and every time a character finishes the line, they never can pick up without any break. That's what the going to go. They're just beating you over the head with a lot of stuff. And you're just giving nothing to breathe in. Even a fast paint show, you even like go right for it. That's a fast paint show, but there's still time in between what like, you're saying to and time to what you think in what's happening. Even if it's a rather fast thing here, it's just like joke, 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 and it's, you know, it gets overwhelming. And it's kind of going to have that improve when you get to the plot, but still kind of, and for half of it, there's basically no plot. I mean, they have one point right beginning of the episode, they don't get it, like, right there. Um, you know, go, and before a mushroom thing popped up, like, four minutes again, nothing much plot. I mean, they go to Kong Kong and protect it, it's like, there's nothing interesting to the story for it happening. Uh, they don't kind of, the painting's still problematic, I think. Now, well, if, if they don't go part of Pirate playing World of Show, like, yeah, then I watch it, like, would I do bother? Probably not, because we don't know what's going on, even with the wonky painting. And stick to the first episode. Come show, did I read painting occasionally? The earlier episode you trying to let me that quickly, the painting could be off because what story girl clearly meant for 22 minutes ago, we had to get dense them probably, and go would be off sometimes. And come on, show sure, guys, I never had weak painting. But after a little while, they got the shit together, and the painting was perfectly fine. You know, you know, between the comedy and the action. This show, I feel like, can't get better in that regard because, what you know, Everything they'll fit in the adventure, the comedy, and the baking. It'd be perfect. First up, of the baking is a little off. It's a bit too fat, and you can't really go get a lot. Okay, not that get better, cover it more of a plot. Go, and you're like getting a better idea. And more thing are happening. A couple nice mission moments. Yeah. Also, yeah, I think abrupt. Intentionally go. Do we have ever go jump and get cut off? I don't know why, not framed in a way, like, I need to be a joke, but that's a joke. Um, this can point out the best, this can be a special preview, go, maybe it wasn't intended to be the first, you know? 
but you know, it's gonna show Valent Tension in the first episode, it's like a preview, but if that's gonna be a preview, then some people are gonna be dropped by it. That's why I keep you know, a couple of people get the pig and come off, and that is <coughs> everything you can need for a weekend entertainment show. You have, of course, you getting, you got some cool concept, you got a good weekend, you got some decent characters, I think, and good comedy. Now you just need to explain everything and give it some more indication. Would it kind of be more complex than the two minutes of Turn Tank Week? Yarn, will the world have more to it? Will the show offer us something that we can't get from Gumball or your bear or even Uncle Grandpa? Um, you know, might probably be. I like it with five. It's probably would have been better than fully realized. And I never sure because I've had it totally fine. The promo and Capil Clan look kind of annoying. Cutter and Guy done that, and honestly, it looks kind of appealing. I think I like the art style, like Nitra and the film of God. <laughs> I just got that. Um, yeah, it looks kind of appealing. And Aki, if you, I think I'm sure that a grandpa we make looks bad. From 2015, I promo neutral, I was like, mm, the film or whatever. That comes out of the show, by the way. Cartoon not go, did not look particularly good, and I'm glad it looked pretty good, but I was alright. At least I go along. When it started, I was kind of iffy on it, but I got, got for ten, get can happen for the end, it got a lot better, I think. Um, we have been looked alright, I think. I mean, I liked some of the marketing we did for it, I, you know, go. That looked alright, that was probably the best looking of them. The New York, I, I, I'm gonna watch the show either way, but I don't think I remember looking in the promo for it. Um, and I remember like it totally fine from the first bit I thought of it, you know. Well, I'll be like, we'll get to a point of thing where I start sink in while I'm actually watching. Go before I was just watching it, but then that kind of went, whoa, it might be a bit more show, but that's why I thought this was a show, you know? But, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they do a show kind of annoying, but I felt a little better now, because this one looked okay. So, you know, and um, Nick and Diddy are kind of guilty of it too. Um, uh, sometimes. Heartbeat the Pro didn't do anything for me. I was like, you know, I heard about the show kind of, kind of, you know, interesting. Um, you know, but then I got fucking the problem again. They didn't, they made sure it looked kind of annoying. So I'm like, uh, I don't feel sure about it. But then after being interviewed with the creator, and he got what he wanted the show to be, I'm like, oh, okay. Watch for tough code, and there you go. <laughs> go, yeah. <laughs> um, go. For the first time, come on, record, get okay. Um, it has a lot of green you need, but at the same time, I do feel like not everything flushed out yet, and the page new article, I can't really get a month into anything that's going on yet. Even a comedy show, that is important, because you still need to believe and get into everything, and you can't do that if it's too fast. Being fat is good in a comedy show, but this show has slightly more on the plot guide. Even in a show like Early Adventure Time, which is more comedic, the painting was still good, you know? Or, or, or again, I got more, I got an example, that fat paint, but it still give me time for it again. Um, Kaboom, what else are we painting in the first episode? Uh, I thought it was too hard to improve, though. Um, yeah, we're painting there, we'll get two of that, but that's gonna leave me on the floor. I think I'll watch more of that show. I'm looking at three episodes again for the third episode of that. You can tell that we're really interested in the coming of one episode. But I've already got two. If each one of me had a full 22 minute block of three episodes. Um, for here, you have one eleven minute, and that's kind of the point for preview. So I guess that's why I'm thinking of a small preview of what to come. Again, you give me Nick and Cartoon Network, but do this for Nick and Disney. I'm going to cut out the one I'm talking about. They used to have two with bomb, and I could probably do that maybe later. The official appearance on September 29th, and look like we're no bomb. Um, this one. But this is from 2015, and we were there again, um, what else? What else? Don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. And they kind of bumped a lot of, um, again, they uh, call. Maybe after 2018, they feel that like putting too much of a short work might look at trade. I think that's a good idea. Because you don't want too much of a show to go out at once. Because a lot of how I swear wrong with not see an edge that much. And you know Nick, due time, Nick, gonna just get a great better work. We treat it pretty well, gave a lot of go, but then they just put down a shirt. I mean, Granted, no one cares. Well, I don't really know. But, like, for the people who do have that show, like, uh, kind of what happened with it. People are crazy. I hyped up. Uh, it's hard to beat whenever it does appear. They don't, they don't give it, they had bomb recently. Uh, we, a few months ago, at least. So, hopefully, I'll come back soon. Um, ping 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 ping. Let that go out in February. Can't go about that in February up here. What the hell? 
Why do we keep rolling fairy pancakes if we're not gonna treat it right? Come on. Bunch of Americans that can break it up going well. Now we're getting off topic. God. Um I can cut and you know like um hope her cut out things a little better baking out and you know vote but a little too long get cleared. Then a couple go to can. There you go. Cause I feel like show can fully break the action adventure comedy thing going for and make for a pretty entertaining, if not at all. I imagine the show won't ever be the best thing ever, but it'll be a fun show to watch. Won't get the painting work out better, cause all we are want to shine through. I can, it's just okay. It's entertaining, but I feel like we're taking a bit too much, you know. And the characters will get more complex. The mod show for sure that girl you won't either won't get feel for the character or you just feel there's not much to them. But I feel like that'll get fixed. Yeah, because we're progressing with characters will become more complex and become more of a nickname. So that I'm okay with. But you know, and I can find people likable at least a little bit. So yeah. So I can't I can't recommend it. Took one episode. I feel like but I feel like if you can forgive a painting or good way comedy, you probably enjoy it, but I recommend waiting for a net thrash push to premiere where you can have a free or couple episode or two episodes like that. Wait a minute. Yeah, we're going to have a good day. Um, yeah, go you can have free up to watch and you can make a better decision and you can get things get better from there. You know, go, I'm going to take mildly entertaining, but I feel like we're taking the youth work and again, I don't know how much special it can be. I'm going to slightly more action comedy if I'm going kind to, of, you know, if I'm going to involve a computer in that regard, you know. I have not coming in slightly more action I mean, I think we can work from epic action. I mean, the show will be actually more of that action. Like, yeah, 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 comedy that has action in it. You know, that kind of action comedy, you know? Not like, you know? Freak out, Turk. I'm watching Ben 10 at the moment. Yeah, I'm gonna watch all of that. <laughs> Go, fun. Enjoy a little fire visual theory. Go. Back here again, we'll come back like. Big guys funny action, but in the entertaining action, they're usually the mag action for the most part. At least for the commercial hearing, as I've been looking into. Um, yeah, got a very cool big line of. What kind of hag action in it, but primarily comedic? I don't know. I didn't think it was top of my head. I don't know. I don't know, like a hugely comedic, and you can't have a lot of action in it, I don't know. But a couple of stuff have comedy, you know, for about room like that. Um, but again, I don't think I quite want But, anyway, go. I feel like, if it's kind of a mute game, and you just want to probably do fine. But if you want to really be going to show, just wait for the premiere. I'm sure it'll be a lot better, or more reflective of what the show is going to be. Go. But that's just my first impression. My first impression will change and get better. Or what kind of my opinion solidified and this, you know, uh, with Future Warm, I've, I can get it all right. So I can't get it, I don't quite like it because I feel like it's still hack humor and that. Uh, and I don't think it's what they should be doing, but at least hack a little hard and at least trying to create going deep and go. For Future Warm, if you're a fan of that kind of show, I feel like you're going to like it. I feel like you'll you'll like it. For an hour, like over here, I feel like it's not a game of identity. Go if you like that, you'll like it. And if you, know, and you like this type of show, then you'll want to do that. Go so, yeah, what show has been improved, and I will get out. Oh, I like the anime, but I don't feel I like Future One, but I feel like for what it might be like guilty, but I kind of think. Um, there you go. Um, and there's Mighty Magic Corner. Hopefully, it could be a new good show or cartoon that we're going to be you know, Um, I want to go show the TV, and that can be enough for a special one. Um, for uh, Milo Murphy Club, a new denim copy show, which uh, officially premiering October 3rd, booking a preview on the app on a Canada 20 kick, and that's what I'm doing. You can all watch the preview on the app and stuff like that, maybe that book won't be happening yet, but I'll be doing that, become fun, and uh, while we talk about the VLON, go, I don't spoil it for anyone else, I don't want, you don't know, want, but VLON, go, and mighty magical for you, hopefully it can become a good show, and I go right now, definitely, already better than, um, like to not go whatever. I'm trying to even hate it, just think something is not very good. Go, yeah. Um, tomorrow, the MLP vlog, clock it vlog for Apple Fan Reunion. This weekend, um, whatever, not, I can't remember. Before the Martin Mark. Um, and I, for anything else I'll end up doing, I don't know. Again, next random. I wish I did have to do it, I could do it, come on, but. I don't want to do both, go, sorry. Um, 
again, don't do any of anything else that you like doing. Um, yeah. Go watch will see you tomorrow and Saturday and whatever I do. So hopefully this show can become fully good. If not, eh, I don't need more. So, see ya.